Welcome back. Now, when I made my last video, LEGO Hall 2, I pointed out that my first LEGO Hall video was my least viewed video as of that time. Hi there. Now, we're back almost just after we uploaded the last one. We're doing another LEGO Hall. Why? Because I caught the white whale. Now, let me explain. Um, I, being a LEGO enthusiast, follow several uh, uh, Facebook pages, uh, Reddit boards, um, you know, Twitter accounts, and so on dedicated to LEGO. And once in a while, I would see someone uh, talking about, oh, go to your local Walmart because we found all these great clearance items. And every time I would go, there, there would be nothing there. Um, over the years, I've gotten like two or three really small sets off the clearance aisle. You know, nothing to write home about. And then, several weeks ago, I was out with my wife on my birthday. And we had gone uh, to, we, we ate mediocre pizza at a place we had never been before. Because, you know, try new things, or new, new places, anyway. And then we went to, and this is an unsolicited uh, suggestion. Not ad, I don't know. But uh, we went to the Dixon Street Bookshop in Fayetteville, Arkansas. If you've never been there, I cannot recommend it enough. I'm going to put up a few pictures here because I love that place. It's it's like one of those bookstores you see in movies where the books are piled up to the ceiling just about. And you have to have ladders to, to even get to the top shelves. And, you know, there's barely enough room to for two people to pass each other in the, the corridors. And, I mean, they just, it's amazing all the stuff you can find in there. Um, all the little gems and whatnot. Totally worth the effort. If you're ever in Fayetteville, go there. Like I said, I'll put a couple of pictures up from their website or, or wherever I can find it. Um, but either way, uh, after our little night out, um, my wife needed to go by Walmart to pick some things up. And we were on our way home. And it's like, oh, okay. And we live in Walmart country where there's Walmart every 25 feet. So uh, we were passing through Springdale and stopped at the Springdale Walmart Supercenter. And, um, of course, I always go and check the clearance aisle. So we were over there, and I went, and I hit the mother load. So um, that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you those sets that I picked up, because it was just a phenomenal haul. Wonder Woman. So let's just dive in. Let's make this a quick video. And uh, we have my co-cat host. At cat host, cat anyway, Penny. You remember her from the last video. She's just going to sit there just out of frame. So, first off, we'll do this one because it was open, and I have looked in it and confirmed everything is there. This Ninjago set here. Um, let's see what set is this? This is the Temple of the Endless Sea. Normally retails for hundred dollars. They had it marked down to sixty. So. Very interesting. Um, the Ninjago sets, the, the few that I have and have built, uh, are always very interesting. My kids were really into Ninjago at one point. Thank you, Penny. That's very helpful. Um, my kids were very into Ninjago uh, at one point. They had several of the sets. Um, so they're always full of imagination. And I think this will be another interesting one. Um, you've got, oh, there's a Stingray. That's cool. That's, here, I'll show you. Right. Stingray. Neat. So, that is that is that. I'm looking forward to that one. That one should be interesting. Um, now, this one, I don't have any of the helmets yet, but it's Luke Skywalker's Red 5 helmet. So you can see, it's normally retails, according to this, it was $60, and it was clearanced half off. So, that should be... A fun build. Like I said, I don't have any any of the helmets. Um, so we'll see how that goes. A lot of interesting, interesting little tidbits on that one. Okay, got a couple of city sets here. Wait, yeah, no. Yes, this one. Uh let's do this one first. The City Set Hospital, which um Comes with more minifigures than I think I've ever gotten in a set, or at least close to. Um, 
See, it comes with a helicopter, the various little rooms, an ambulance. Um, I guess it opens up and whatnot. Uh, but it looks like a very interesting, very interesting set. Um, so, and it comes with road plates. That's that's always a bonus. Oh, let's see. Now this one, it's a different city set here. Stunts. I don't have any of those, and I have no real, uh, no real knowledge about the stunt sets um, as far as a uh, a subset of city goes. Um, it's got a couple of monster trucks and uh, you know other nifty little things. Um, I've never been to a monster truck rally, so. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about that. It looks like a fun set, though. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how much that is enjoyable when we do an opening of that. Oh, yeah, and these last two, what, what were they? Uh, Stunts was originally 99 and it was on sale for 45 And the hospital was 120 and on sale for 65 So, you know, they were... On average, marked down about 50%. 50 let's see. Ah, I've got, uh, let see, Speed Champions, the Mopar, uh, Mopar Dodge SRT, top fuel dragster in the 1970 Dodge Challenger here. Uh, originally forty nine ninety seven, marked down to 25. Um, so, you know, the, the cars are always a fun build. Um... I really do. Uh, I'm looking at the back here, and I do like the uh, the the Dodge uh, Charger or Challenger. I'm sorry, I'm not really a car person, but I do enjoy building them. Um, not too long ago, uh, just for fun, just a, a quick aside here, um, I built the uh, Monster Hunters uh, Dracula's Castle. I think it was the Dracula's Castle. It came with the uh, the Green Roadster. Um, I really enjoyed that build. That car, that specifically, the car itself was very interesting. The castle was pretty good, but when I do a review of that, we'll get into to the ups and downs of it. And now, finally, the the piece de resistance of the uh, the uh, clearance aisle. This one was 130, and it was marked down to 99.15. So not as big a uh, a clearance item, but this is not a very old set, uh, you know, I, I don't think, anyway. Um, the Chamber of Secrets uh, comes with a, a whole whole lot of little rooms on the back. The Basilisk, uh, Gilderoy Lockhart, um, a anniversary Golden Lord Voldemort. Oh, and a couple of the uh, little pixie pixies there, the Cornish pixies. So... And nearly headless neck. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, you know, this will be a nice addition to the Harry Potter sets that I have and have done. Now, that was the clearance items. Like I said, it was a great haul. Uh, saved several, a couple hundred uh, dollars. I think it was like two hundred and sixty some odd dollars. Um, don't check the math. It's like two in the morning here. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in addition to that, uh, my wife uh, has been on an auction site recently and got some great deals on a couple of sets. So we're going to look at those real quick, too. We got this one, the City Police Station. Um, you'll have to forgive me. I don't remember how much we actually got these for. Uh, it, it was less than they would retail for. That's uh, all I can tell you as far as price goes. But um, we got it uh, at a, uh, oh, what's the name of that site? I don't remember right now, but the handy dandy subtitles will tell you in a moment. So, like I said, we got uh, this police set. Now, over the years, I've had uh, my share of police sets uh, going back to when I was a kid, um, 
I had a police. I have a police set sold that it predates the the minifigures with arms. It's one of those ones where the arms are just part of the torso. Or was that a hospital? Anyway, I had a hospital set and uh, early uh, police set from the very early eighties. Um, back when the minifigs were just babies for the bigger figures that they would build. Um, let's see. Finally, last one. Then I'm gonna get out of here. Oh. Uh, also from that auction site, the Hogwarts Express. Uh, kind of beat up, but sure it'll build fine just the same. Um, so you've got uh, a train car, the Hogwarts engine, and uh, I guess the, the coal car, or what have you. Uh, it's got a, a Dementor with it, and the, uh, the station itself, uh, which is nice. Uh, Platform nine and three quarters. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Another great Harry Potter set to, to add to my collection and do a review video on at some point in the not too distant future. I hope. So that's all I've got right now. Um, I will have to get back to you on some other stuff. Uh, like I said, the subtitles tell you what that auction site is. I want to bid F. No, that's not right. I had. Neither here nor there. The subtitles have my back. Anyway, I uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, hit the notification bell, uh, all that fun stuff that helps a channel grow. And I will look forward to seeing you later. Have a great one. And now we have cat. Meow. Yeah.